we're out here at the Cottage Vineyard this morning. This is a second vineyard the Scarborough family developed, but it comes off a rich heritage of once being one of the Lindemans Sunshine Vineyard properties. It's beautiful alluvial sandy loam, which is only about 30 to 40 centimetres deep and sits over a clay base. So it's a traditional duplex soil. Um, this vineyard does flood from time to time, and I think we've had three flooding instances in the, the time we've been involved. So we get an alluvial top up of nutrition, but otherwise it's a fairly lean site. So you can see we have a lovely um, permanent sward in here now of rye, fescues, clovers and medics, which is self-seeding and self-regenerating now. So that's been going probably for seven or eight years. Yeah, it? yeah. yeah, it was one of the first properties where we went to a permanent sward. So it was, and it was the right place to do because of the, the flooding, but also to uh, dampen down the vines so that they uh, didn't have too much vigor in them. This grassed mid-row helps us when it's hot, it, it helps cool the, the site. We also get lovely shadows and, and cooling breezes that come off Black Creek down at the back of the property. So it's not a bad place to be on a, a late afternoon on a hot summer day. On this property specifically, we've got our Semillon and Chardonnay. The Semillon goes to our obsessive uh, Semillon. And because of the pedigree of the site, across the valley where it's the, the light sandy soils where some of the best uh, ageing Hunter Semillons come from. So Tyrrells, McWilliams, Thomas Wines, they all are looking at their top sem to be coming off the similar soils to this. But also, one of the beauties of uh, the sandy soils with having Chardonnay on here, it also gives us uh, a difference in style to most of the other Chardonnays that, that we grow, which are typically on red clay soils. So one, it gives us uh, a blending option within uh, the uh, four styles of Chardonnay that we do nowadays, but also uh, for the last uh, couple of years, the Keeper of the Flame Chardonnay has come off this uh, block here that we're standing in. 